Welcome to another short video for 1690. In this video we're going to talk about convergence. Convergence is the first tool we have in terms of analysis of our numerical methods. Loosely speaking, convergence tells us whether or not our numerical solution will end up representing the exact solution and the limit as delta t goes to zero. So let's start with a picture. I'm going to plot here the exact solution u of t and some points of our numerical solution, the vn's. So I'll plot here in blue an exact solution. And remember, for many problems, most problems, we won't know the exact solution. That's the reason we're using a numerical method in the first place. But let's just assume for demonstration purposes that numerical our exact solution looks something like this blue curve. So this is u of t. Make sure I get my axes labeled here. Here's t. And we're going to put a number of things here on the ordinate axis. In addition to the exact solution u of t, we're also going to have the time points of our numerical solution. So we'll have v0 here and then some time step delta t later we're going to have a v1 so here's v0 this dot represents v1 and this continues as we know to construct this numerical solution so we get v1 and v2 v3 and so on and let's say this goes all the way up to the nth step. So somewhere far out here we have our last point Vn and of course the exact solution also out here somewhere. Okay so now what we want to look at is the error between these two, in particular the absolute error. I'm going to do that in red. So we know at time zero, time t zero, we get this exactly because we start our numerical method with the initial condition data given in the problem. But then we incur some error. And that's the difference here between our numerical point v1 and the exact solution at that same point. So I'm just going to represent here with a, a small bar. Okay, and this continues, and we incur errors at every one of these time steps. So at each time step we'll have some error, so let's say it's en, and this is the absolute value of the difference between our numerical solution and the exact solution at that time point. So absolute value of vn minus un. Okay, and we're going to have this for n equals 0, 1, all the way up to capital N. All right, so now let's revisit the convergence theorem. The convergence theorem says that a numerical method is convergent if the following is true. So we want to take the maximum, and it's a maximum over a set of the iteration indices n, So it's n being any one of these indices of the error, vn minus un. And that needs to go to 0 in the limit as delta t goes to 0. OK, so a numerical method is convergent if the maximum error goes to 0 as the time step also goes to 0. So this part here, you can think of this as the worst case error over all of the time steps. Okay, and if this goes to zero, if the worst case error is going to zero, that means that this is going to imply that Vn is going to tend to Un for all n. And that's what convergence means.